Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter. Today we are going to learn how can we create a distributed load test plan in JMeter using a throughput controller. So this is going to be very easy and fun but before we dive deep into the concepts let us first try to understand what exactly are we trying to achieve here. So in real world whenever you are testing any application the application might have different parts and these different parts are exposed to different amount of loads in the real world scenario. Let us take an example of a web application and this application can have multiple pages. Let us say web page A, web page B and web page C. Now if I create a simple load test plan in Gmeter, I will start it with some particular threads or virtual users right and if I say 10 virtual users then all my three web pages will be tested by a constant load of 10 virtual users however that is not a real world scenario in real world I might want to test my web page A with 20% of the total load web page B with 30% of the total load and web page C with 50% of the total load so here if I am using 10 virtual users, 2 virtual users should go to page A, 3 virtual users should go to page B and 5 should go to page C. So how exactly can we create this kind of a distributed load test plan? Let us begin now and let us go to our JMeter and here before we go into the throughput controller let us see how exactly can we do this without using the throughput controller. So let us go to any website where we want to create a distributed load test plan. I am going to lifecharger.org and let us create a thread group first. And here I am adding a sampler. I will add HTTP request sampler and I will add the domain of this website here. So I am adding lifecharger.org and I do not need the HTTP portion because this will be covered here and let me call this as home page now what I am doing is I will copy this thread group and I will paste it two times inside my test plan and I will add the other pages inside these multiple thread groups. So I am going to the about page now and this about page I will add in the second thread group and I will say this is my about page and the third thread group we will uh, test the archives page. So let me add the archives page here and we will call it as archives page. Okay, so now we have our test plan ready. What we need is a listener to look into the results. So I am saying add a listener and let me add aggregate report here. Okay, so let us now run our test plan and see how the results look like. So we have not uh, added the number of threads so let me first add uh, we want the first page to be tested with two threads the second page with three threads or three virtual users and the third page with five virtual users and now let me run it again and now we can see we have got this distribution web page one has the load of two virtual users this has three and this one has the third one has five and this is exactly what we wanted to achieve okay now this is very simple and straightforward however when you create a real world load test on an application it is not going to be so straightforward that you can decide the actual number of users per section of the application and in that case you will need to use a throughput controller so let us now go to our throughput controller and I am creating a single master thread group so I will say add a thread group and I will name it as a master thread group and I will add 
a logic controller which is called as throughput controller and I will add my home page one inside this throughput controller similarly I will create two more throughput controllers and I will add the other pages there so here I do not want the home page but the other page so I will add my about page inside the second throughput controller and the archives page inside my third throughput controller and now I can delete or disable these earlier thread groups so for now I am disabling them okay so now you can see we have a single thread group and inside the single thread group we have these throughput controllers for every section or every web page okay now I say in the master thread group I say that I want a total number of virtual users as 10 and here inside the throughput controller I can select the total executions or I can select the percent executions so for now let me select the percent executions and before we go there let me just explain when you say total executions this will be the exact amount or the count of times that this particular section will be executed so if I say 2 here then this particular web page will be executed with two, uh, the count of 2 virtual users out of the total virtual users however when I say percent executions and I say here 20 now it will have a load of 20% of the total load of virtual users so in this case because we have 10 virtual users two virtual users will go to this particular section okay let me do this for all the throughput controllers let me give 30% here and when you are giving percent execution you do not need to check this per users this will work only in case of total executions and here again I am going percentage and this is 50 okay so you can see 20% on the first page 30% on the second page and 50% on the third page so now let me run it again and let us see if we are able to achieve what we wanted and yes now you can see the first web page has a load of 20% then the second web page 30% and the third web page as 50% so now you know we can increase or decrease the load here and we do not need to go inside each and every section and decide the load we just decide the load here and we can run our test plan and the rest of the things will be taken care by our throughput controller so this time you can see four virtual users went to home page six virtual users went to about page and the rest of 10 virtual users went to archives page okay so this is how we can create a distributed load test plan using the throughput controller hope you like it thanks for watching